Hey everybody, David, aka RV Jedi, aka Carvy Jedi. And you know, one of the things I get asked about a lot is my sleeping setup uh, in my car, my Subaru Cross Trek 2013. Uh, I've showed it kind of before, but this time I think I'm going to take you through the setup and everything uh, that I normally do. Uh, I'm making some uh, modifications, so we'll see how it goes this time. And I'm adding a new product uh, to this process, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, and then uh, we'll sleep on it. I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, and then that's basically it. Uh, you know, the one thing that you want to make sure that you do when you're out, even in your car, RV, or wherever, is have a good night's sleep. So hopefully this setup is something that you can do uh, and you'll find it fairly easy. So let's get it started. So whenever I arrive to a park, the first thing I do is like to set up my camp, set up my car and, and the sleeping situation for me. So um, I have a wooden board uh, that I lay in the back and you can see it here. It's uh, two feet wide uh, by four feet long and it's about an inch, inch and a half, I believe. Uh, so I take my uh, front chair and push it up as far as I can uh, and then I take everything out that I can uh, and slide the board up a little bit and you can see it here. The next thing I do is I work with what I call my basement. This is a, a suitcase that I have that's a little banged up uh, but I carry my hiking boots in it, I carry my window shades in it and a couple of other things. Uh, I take all of those out uh, and then I put it near the head of the bed. I lay it down there uh, and then I also use um, my tool kit that I carry with me as well. Uh, and then I put the board right back on top of it and that evens it out, which is really important when I am sleeping. After that, it's time to use the tri-fold mattress and lay that out as well. And that goes right on top of the board. Uh, again, I will put a link to all of these materials in the descriptions below. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and pick up some of them, you can figure out how to do it. And this is the way it looks like. Uh, and it's all pretty level. And honestly, this has been very comfortable to sleep on in the past. This time I'm making a little bit of a modification. I'm using the King Chi mattress pad, which I'm actually gonna lay on top of my tri-fold mattress. Uh, and this is supposed to make a big difference and, and be a little bit more comfortable. So we'll see how it all works out. Uh, it comes nicely packaged. Uh, you just roll it out into the uh, place that you want to sleep, whether it's the, the ground, a tent, or in this case, the car. Uh, and I just uh, lay it out here and then slide it up to the top. Um, it's a little bit longer than my trifold, so I had to slide it up just a little bit. And then on the back of the mattress, there's a little tab that you open. There it is right there in the corner. Uh, and that lets air into the mattress and it, um, uh, it essentially blows up. After that, it's just putting the sheets on. I use an old queen set of sheets that I had at home. It works perfectly. And then of course I'm representing with my Star Wars blanket. So that's my setup for my bed in my car. It'll be interesting to see how it goes with the Big Chi mattress pad. Uh, I'm not sure that I did it correctly, uh, but we'll find out in the morning. We'll see you then. So the experiment with the bed is um, going to continue to be an experiment. There were a couple of things that I really liked about uh, my new setup and a couple of things I still have to figure out. The first um, was leveling out the uh, board. Normally I use the basement or the rolling bag and I have it standing up uh, vertically. Uh, this time I laid it down horizontally and it got uh, the board a little bit more level and so that felt a lot better than normally. Uh, in the past I had left it up a little bit uh, and I was sleeping at an angle so that felt a little bit better. What I don't know whether or not it felt good or not was the Big Chi sleeping pad. 
uh, partially because I still don't know if I uh, did it correctly. There were no instructions with uh, how to roll out the pad and um, let the air in or out of it. Um, there is a, a little tab at the corner of it uh, which allows air to come in and out and I'm not quite sure how to use that yet so I have to do some more research. Uh, I'm not saying no to the sleeping pad uh, but right now we'll see. Um, what I did is I put that sleeping pad on top of my normal four inch pad which I have loved um, and I thought that would just add a little extra to it but uh, I'm not so sure how it uh, all worked out in the end we'll have to continue to see. One of the things about car camping is you're always tweaking to find the best situation for you and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to modify my sleeping situation until it feels just right. Right now with this new adjustment, we're close, but I still think there's some more work left to do. Uh, all in all though, it's still a comfortable sleep in this uh, cross track and uh, thanks to the Hasika uh, tent awning, it allows me to get some more air in uh, and it feels more refreshing as I sleep overnight. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, car camp, work on your sleeping situation, and let me know how you lay out your car when you sleep. I'd love to hear how other folks are doing it. Who knows? Maybe I'll homage some of your suggestions and use them for me as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <music>